I remember when my cousin got married, she, she's uh, obviously Mexican. She got ch married to a Chinese uh, individual. Uh, shout out to Wilson. Um, and at their wedding, they had different, like, little ceremonies that we weren't used to. I mean, they did them during the wedding, and I was just like, what is going on here? You know, and I'm sure they felt the similar way when we did some of our traditions, you know, in our culture. And so I'm sure they were just like, what's going on here? But imagine if you're the one actually being married or getting in that relationship, you're going to be learning a lot. You know, uh, my ex was Salvadorian, still Latin American, but, you know, you got to learn a, a bunch of different, like, things from a different part of the world, different traditions, different things that they would do, different uh, foods that they would eat and, and things like that. Like, I learned a lot, you know, and same goes with, like, when you date somebody who's a different race, different culture, uh, you tend to learn a lot of things, which I love, too. Like, don't get me wrong. I love it. And I... Also, they don't have to be from a different culture. It's just they're just a different person, you know. They prefer this type of stuff, doing this and this and this. And you're like, you already know what you like to do, and now you want to make it work with this person. So you're willing to try these things, do new things, and you know, keep keep things interesting. And there's nothing wrong with that. As those people are like, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna find someone who's just like me. Uh, so that could be something else. And number nine that we have is encourages compromise 